Hey everyone, what's happening? Gary Semix here. I want to bring you this short video clip about the importance of maintaining the ability to control your speed through a berm corner. I mean, a lot of riders think you slow down for the berm corner to, you know, how much you need to be slowed down for, and then you just kind of go through the berm corner. But there's a whole lot more to it, as you'll see in this video. So check it out. Okay, we're taking a look at Garrett Marchbanks working the corner track, good berm track down in South Carolina at Club MX. And um, notice this next corner that he's going to go up into right here. Something's going to happen a little bit. And right there, do you notice what, what it was other than that other rider passing in front of Garrett? But right there, something happened. Let me point it out. He had to check up with the front brake to get the thing back down in the corner. The reason is he wasn't leaned over far enough for the speed he was carrying. So he had to check up right here going a little too fast for the speed for the lean that he had in the bike so he had he was going to go over the berm if he didn't slow it down so he slows it down with the front brake notice he wasn't looking right in front of him either look at his head he's looking up around the corner very important so he had to check up slow it down a little bit get his balance back and by now he's got his balance back he's laying it over into the corner far enough and he can accelerate out of the corner. So my point is, not only do you have to be able to control your speed into the corner, but you have to be able to control your speed all the way through the corner in these berm corners. Once that front wheel checks into the berm, it's all front brake and throttle. You can, of course, you can speed up. There you saw it again. You can speed up with the throttle, but you have to be able to slow it down with the front brake. You have to commit to the lean and then control your speed with the front brake and throttle in these corners and look a little farther ahead. Well if you like that short little tip there's a whole lot more to learn with my Technique DVDs. The one about berm cornering will break it all down and show you how you can practice and learn the techniques to make them become automatic for berm corners. That's in volume 3 DVD number 5 Look, at, look for the link in this video. Also, if you want to follow me on this blog, I'll be posting more and more short tips like this. Click in the upper right-hand corner and follow me on the blog. Until then, ride smart and have fun.